Hey guys, it's great to see you. So I've been asked a number of times to put all of my best car links for a set of Corsa in one video and that's what we're going to jump into in a moment. As ever though guys, if you are new here, it'd be great to have you on board so check out the channel and click on that subscribe button if you like what you see. And also remember to like the video, it really helps me out with YouTube. Okay then, let's jump right in then. This is all of my best funny or quirky cars. All of these are featured in videos on the channel, but instead of you trawling through all of those videos, let me try and bring them into one place for you. So the first one we've got is a Lego Hot Rod. Yes, that is a Lego Hot Rod. Now there are some cool Lego tracks out there, and again, they've featured on my channel too. So it's great to grab this Hot Rod that drives really well and it's great for drifting. So that's the Lego Hot Rod. Scania trucks, yes, you can get trucks on a set of Corsa. Really, really cool. Also, we've got a monster truck in there and we've got a combine harvester. It's very wide. It's not great for racing, but it's great to have some fun in. Then we've got the Delaria FX Concepts and I put in here simply because of how cool that car looks. Then we have a trophy truck, which is a kind of 4x4 skeleton truck and the Batmobile. Now the Batmobile is huge. I've driven it on a couple of my videos. It's great fun. It drives like a massive truck though, not very agile. Then we've got the Mad Max Interceptor. You will have to fix the external sound on it through Content Manager, but it drives absolutely fantastic. A real beast of a car. And then we've got the DeLorean from Back to the Future. And that model is done really well. It's one of the most detailed models I've seen on a set of Corsa. Then we've got the Disney cars. So Lightning McQueen, you can drive him around a set of Corsa. And finally, the Grand Theft Auto V car in Futo, which drives really well and it's great for drifting. Next up, we're going to go into some older or more vintage cars. And again, these aren't exhaustive lists, guys. This is just the things that I've really enjoyed playing since I've been a YouTuber in the last eight or nine months. So the first one is 1970 Performance Mustangs. Now, I drove these on my Road America video, which is buried somewhere on my channel. Absolutely fantastic cars, and they drive really well. Just over 200 brake horsepower, most of them. And again, really close racing, so great. Then you've got a couple of real vintage ones, the Bugatti Type 32, We've got the Vintage Sunbeam and the Voice in C6. And I know there are some more additions happening in this like 1920s, 1930s set of cars on Race Department. And I will be featuring some more vintage cars later on in the year on the channel. So those three cars are really detailed and great fun. Absolutely scary too when you think that people were driving those at over 100 miles an hour, 150 miles an hour in some cases. Then I've just put some hot hatches in there because I did a recent hot hatch video and I love all of these cars and it took me a while to find them all. So you've got the Ford Escort RS Turbo in white of course, the only colour. Then you've got the XR2 and that's the Mark 1 version of the XR2. The Mark 1 Golf GTI, that model is really cool and it's done so well. Love the interior on that model. The Renault 5 GT Turbo which took me an age to find, I knew it was there somewhere but I did manage to find it. And then the Peugeot 205 GTI, which you all know I love if you're regular um, viewers on my channel. The next section I'm going to look at is the top rated mods. So this is either top rated by the sim racing community, by popularity or downloads, or because I think they're fantastic models. So these are all the mods that you absolutely need to get. Now I've featured a number of these across all of the videos on the channel, so do check them out. So the first is Need for Speed Class A and Class B. This is the Testarossa, it's the Dodge, it's the Porsche. These are all fantastically detailed mods and absolutely essential if you've not got them yet. Then we've got the RX Infini by Esprit. I featured this a couple of months ago. It is an awesome mod, so detailed, and again, an essential download. You've got the Seat Leon TCR, which is more like touring cars. Again, great mod. The Mazda 787B, which features on the thumbnail here. And big shout out to Big Rig NZ, who actually did that mod. And I will drop his link and his email in the description. Does some awesome libraries, very talented guy. Then we've got the 2007 Impreza WRX GD, which most people with the Porsche 911 Singer would say are the two best mods that you can get on car mods on a set of Corsa at the moment. The amount of detail that's gone into those is phenomenal. Then we've got the Lola Mark II, love that car and the sound it makes. Open top racing, brilliant, brilliant. And then you've got the 1937 Union C, which is a beast of a car. And I know there's some more streamlined versions come out now and I will be featuring those on the channel. Then you've got the Porsche 911 993 Turbo. Again, a very detailed model. And the 1998 BMW BTCC 320i. I love the British touring cars and they do some brilliant mods. 
than the BMW 320v8 Judd which features on this video. That is the awesome BMW driving up Pikes Peak. And then we've got the BMW E30 Touring, which I did some cruising on on some of my free roam tracks in the absolutely fantastic detailed mod again. The Ford Sierra Cosworth pack has to be in there, and I've also got the AX GTI as well, and AC Legends 3.0. The AC Legends mod is awesome, and I know you get a number of cars in there. A couple of them you need to play about with a little bit, but do check out my video on the channel on that. They are absolutely essential downloads, every single one of those cars and car packs. Next up, we have all the best Formula cars that I've covered. And there's some great, great cars in here, especially the Formula 1 cars. So to begin with, we've got the RSR Formula 3, which is one of the top rated mods on race department. Absolutely essential features in this video. The 1997 Williams FW19, which is a beast, as is the 1997 Ferrari F310B, one of my favorite Ferrari cars to drive. Then you've got the 2002 Williams FW24 and the 2015 Williams FW37. Then the very famous F2002 Ferrari, the McLaren MP4 and the 2001 Williams FW23. All of these mods are done very well and absolutely essential downloads. The last section is something that I saw a few months ago and just had to find and I managed to get this amazing traffic pack and the link is in the description as in for all the cars and everything that's in this video. So these traffic packs feature a number of cars that you can put on traffic on places like Shotoko or on LA Canyons or really any of the tracks and you can actually drive them as well but they are very basic. But why these are very good is that it gives you cars, it gives you trucks, that's small trucks and very long trucks, it gives you flatbed trucks flatbed trucks with cars on the back, motorbikes, yes there are two different types of motorbikes on there, police cars, road sweepers, the list goes on. Now it is quite a large download, it's 1.5 gig and now I'm eating up all your hard drive space but absolutely essential if you're doing lots of free roam with two way traffic and do check out the other videos on my channel on how to get that set up if you've not done that yet. So that guys finishes off the list of all of my best cars. Now these are the cars that I've driven in the last eight or nine months. It's been an amazing journey on a set of Corsa for me. And I've gone from really sub 100 subscribers to over 4,000 subscribers. So thanks so much for all of your support. I've got lots of plans for more Assetto Corsa and sim racing content coming up. So keep an eye on the channel. Do also check out the channel because we now have a join button on there. So there is membership on the channel and that gives you access to all sorts of different perks including the discord channel and also custom emojis who doesn't want custom emojis so if you do like the channel i would love to have you on there as ever if you do like what you see here click on that subscribe button and remember to click on the notify button as well that really helps you to get notified on all the latest videos that are coming out three to four times a week every week on my channel thank you so much for watching guys see you very soon